Uh, my name is Carolyn Cochran. Um, I am a Deputy Provincial Commissioner for Girl Guides for uh, PEI in New Brunswick. Uh, and I'm just going to talk about a little bit about Girl Guides on PEI uh, and the opportunities that we have to volunteer. Okay, so I'll just wait for my... Okay, so... So... Um, the agenda that I'm going to go through is, I'm going to talk a little bit about who Girl Guides are, I'm going to talk about the programme we offer, and the, uh, the volunteering opportunities that we currently have, and how you can get involved, okay? So we're an all-female organisation, uh, and we're part of a worldwide organisation which offers fun and adventure for adults and girls, the age, girls aged 5 to 17, okay? So uh, we're supporting the girls are supported by all women volunteers. Uh, we offer a welcome and inclusive environment. Okay, so we're guiding, it's not affiliated to, a, to any religion or, or beliefs, or behaviors or traditions. Um, we, uh, we're a place for girls to explore what matters to them. Okay, so it is a very girl led sort of a, um, a organization um, the girls, um, choose what they'd like to do largely. Um, it, we do a lot of, out in the community. For example, my unit uh, did a pet drive, food drive last year for the outside PetSmart for, for, um, for the Humane Society. Uh, we partner with a lot of other organizations. We had got a, a grant with Steam PEI and, uh, last year and, and all our members had three sessions with Steam PEI, which was phenomenal for, for those, those young people. Um, um, and Sierra Wildchild is another organization that we partner with. Um, so the opportunities to, to do lots of things, different, different things and become involved in other, other organizations is there too. So Girl Guys is a place where the girls can make friends, they learn new skills, they jump into awesome activities, they explore new challenges, they go on adventures, they take the lead, yeah, which is very much encouraged that we have a, our online platform that they choose what they'd like to do and they put their ideas into action. So as a volunteer, you'd be a part of that to, to help and support do that. Okay, so we, um, on PEI, we have, um, these are the, these are the units are um, like our groups and we have all these, age groups across PEI and uh, we're currently looking for um, helpers for leaders in the Charlottetown area and in Stratford and in Cornwall. So there are different age groups, uh, Sparks are age 5 to 6, Brownies are 7 to 8, Guides are 9 to 11, Pathfinder is 12 to 14 and Rangers are 15 to 17. So the, the larger groups are obviously the smaller kids because they, you know, like they're keener and by the time they get to the range age, there they're are smaller groups because, um, you know, these young people have different activities, different priorities, um, but it, it is a great organisation to be involved in. And then we have the adult members, uh, some are just, are just members because they want to be members, but, but our leaders are um, kind of, the grassroots of the organization. So our program allows every girl to grow in confidence, to find a connection and to build lifelong friendships. It, it is a great organization uh, to volunteer with, um, to be a part of. Um, so we, um, yeah, yeah. So the program itself has um, different uh, sections. Um, so the guide together is is what I don't if if you don't know guiding um, traditionally we would be uh, kind of um, famous for our camping and for our cookie selling uh, and camping and, and and outdoor activities. Okay, so into the outdoors is obviously into the outdoors. Um, explore identities, all about inclusivity, um, build skills. They they learn. They taught different skills, you know, camping skills or um, skills, whatever, whatever, you know, they can um, 
we can we can teach them. Okay, be well is physical health and mental health. Uh, experiment and create. We obviously do a lot of uh, there are a lot of crafts, a lot of um, Steam PEI did a whole load of experiments and stuff with us. Connect and question, uh, discuss relationships, etc., and take action. We do a lot of we do a lot of service projects. Um, uh, currently, the national service project is reconciliation. Uh, for we're doing a lot of work on truth and reconciliation, um, which is obviously very relevant. Uh, so. The, the program is a very relevant, it's an evergreen um, program that is constantly updated. The girls and adults get to uh, have an input in what, what goes in the program and can change things or, so it, it is a really good program. To volunteer, um, you will help girls to learn new skills, to have fun adventures and to build their confidence. Okay, so the, so the commitments we have for um, the meetings, the meetings are usually a one to one and a half hour uh, a week, plus uh, any planning time that you would have. We also offer trainings um, and, and there's camps and extra, extra kind of things that we sell cookies and, and there would, you know, there's an extra kind of commitment there. Um, but you can give as little or as much as you want. Okay, so if you wanted to be an actual leader, then there's a screening process um, that you would have to have police record check. You'd have to have references. That, but it takes. It doesn't take very long to do. Um, you would be able to. Uh, then, yeah, it is very rewarding. Okay, you cheer, cheer the girls on and watch their confidence grow. Um, it's inspiring. Yeah, it is meant to girls to discover their world, their unique passions and give back to the community. And it is life changing to develop skills that are highly valued in the workplace, such as communications, event planning and leadership. Um, yeah, I've written um, many references for students who, who have helped me in, in my unit. Um, uh, we have scholarships, uh, which we have national scholarships and uh, local scholarships, PEI in New Brunswick. Um, so, so yeah, it is lots of fun. Um, you shall after and have fun leading the girls on adventures and exploring new challenges together. Unforgettable. Connect with other women leaders in your community across the country and around the world. Yeah, there are international opportunities, and and it is it is a great organisation. I personally moved to PEI 15 years ago. I was not involved in the organisation prior to that. Uh, I became involved through through a neighbour and. To be honest, this girl guiding is my family in PI. Uh, it has become my family in PI, rather. So, um, so yeah, I would uh, urge you to 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 volunteer. We we are looking for helpers in whatever capacity. If you have if you have a, a skill you'd like to share, or even you just wanted to come for a couple of meetings, if you did yoga or sewing or something, that that would be great. Yeah, please. I I don't have my personal email on on this uh, presentation, but I can put that into the uh, uh, into the chat uh, if anybody would like to contact contact me and um, and I can give you some more information, lots more information. Thank you for listening to me.